Without a doubt, SellerAmp is the best low cost option for anyone wanting to get started in online arbitrage to start finding products that they can actually sell on Amazon and make some profit. SellerAmp does a lot of different things and it does it for less than $20 a month. What I wanna do in today's video is show you my own personal settings, how I have SellerAmp's Chrome extension set up for online arbitrage. So if you just got SellerAmp or you plan on getting it soon, watch this video. All right, guys, once you get started with SellerAmp, you get your free trial, you get access to that Chrome extension, download it. It should appear on Amazon listings pages for you. If not, go ahead and look up here, make sure that it's activated, make sure that you're logged in and boom, it should show up. All right, now that's showing up, we got it into this little box in this little corner. The first thing that I like to do, the way I have mine personally set up is the uh, right side justified. So I'm going to click on this. And there it is, it pops up right here on the side, looking bigger, looking more beautiful, looking like it's more easier to read. Then I still have you know, the Amazon listing page in full view. I can look at this a little bit closer as well. So this is how I have mine set up. For the purpose of this video though, I am gonna have it lined up in the middle so that I can give you a better look just for this video. So we'll head down here and we'll click on this little gear icon real quick and right up top, you're gonna see your information. You're gonna be able to select your marketplace. Mine is amazon.com US and you can put in your merchant token here. I don't really feel the need for that at this moment so you can keep it blank. Uh, VAT, you don't even need to mess with that down here. Buying criteria, here is where you can put in your minimums, right? So you want seller app to tell you you know, either yes, this is a go or no, this is not, right? They're gonna have green and red flash up and I'll show you some examples of that here in a second. But that's gonna be based on what your minimums are, what your minimums and your maximums as far as uh, BSR or sales rank. So you can set what is favorable to you. What I like to do here is put in a $4 minimum, 25% ROI is cool for me, and I'm comfortable going up to 4% as far as BSR goes. So that is how I have my buying criteria set up. On to this next section, the additional cost. You can put a prep fee if you're using a prep center or you know for sure you're gonna spend 10 cents on the poly bag or whatever, what have you. You can put that in here. I keep this blank. I don't put any prep fees. I don't put any miscellaneous fees in either. I do put a miscellaneous fee as a percentage. This is where I'm able to put in and account for sales tax. So if you are usually paying sales tax, you want that figured into your uh, fees, right? You want it figured into that ultimate profit that seller amp is showing you. So put in your sales tax right in here if you do have to pay it. Inbound shipping, I put in 40 cents per pound. You can go and take an average of your latest, you know, 10, 15, 20 shipments that you set in. Go ahead and average that out and it'll give you a price per pound. 40 cents is where I'm comfortable. You can go a little lower. You can go a little higher if you want to be safer, but I'm comfortable with 40 cents per pound. Right here in the default value section, we're going to look at the ranks and prices time frame. I am going to select 30 day average. Here's why, because I'm already going to get a look at the what's happening currently. With the quick info section, I'm going to get a look at what's happening currently. The next thing that I want to look at is the 30 day average. And if I want to, I can dig in deeper with a click of a button to the 90, the 180 or the all time. But I want it to show me, the first thing that I want to show me is the 30 day averages. That's why I have it selected to look like that. Next section is fulfilled by merchant cost. I'm not a fulfilled by merchant seller, strictly FBA, so I do not put anything in this section. Storage time, I do put in one month. Now, the goal is to sell the product within one month. If you are holding on to your products a little longer, which most cases we do, uh, you could put in additional storage time here. But I always buy products with the initial... Uh, intention of selling them within one month. So I want that factored in to my profits. So local fulfillment, European fulfillment, you should be fine, nothing to do there. Custom ROI, I'm just gonna put in 25 because that is my minimum and leave that there. Keep on search results should be a yes, no, and no. You can go dark mode if you like. I'm not used to it, I really don't like it. I use uh, this mode right here. And then you got this section here. Now this is where you're gonna organize and select on or off the things that you wanna see. Seller Amp gives you all of these data points, all of these little options here, you can filter through and look at different data points. And honestly, you do not need to look at all of it. So what we're gonna do is set this up and arrange it to make more sense for online arbitrage.
So this is just how I have mine set up for my own personal use. You can definitely rearrange this however you like, but for me, this is what makes the most sense. What I wanna see the first up top is going to be the alerts. The alerts section is what's gonna tell you whether or not you can sell a product, whether or not a product is hazmat or dangerous goods or things like that, right? So I wanna see those alerts first because if I can't sell the product, there's no reason for me to dig in further to the data. Next, I wanna see the quick info. Now the quick info is what is gonna show you what's currently happening with that product so it's going to give you at a glance what that fba offer is uh you know just a lot of different stuff which we'll look to in this the next section but that is the next little piece of information i want to see i want to see alerts can i sell this product is it worth selling this product and then i want to see the quick info to get a lot of good information at a glance and decide again do i want to dig deeper on this product my third section here is ranks and prices because this is where you're going to be able to dig into the historical data, that 30, that 90, that 180 day, everything that's happening with that product that you want to make sure to look at to eliminate the risk of selling this product. Next, you're going to have the charts. This is where you're going to be able to look at Keepa. If you don't have a Keepa subscription, Keepa is kind of built into Seller Amp and you can use the charts section to get a, a good look at what's happening with that product even further. If the ranks and prices information maybe is confusing, you can always look at a Keepa chart. Next is gonna be the profit calculator. This is another one of those sections where if I wanna see more about why is that profit the way it is? What is that FBA fee? How is all of this getting calculated? And is there really true profit in this product? That is where you can dig deeper into the profit calculator section. And then variations, I wanna go ahead and select this on because the variations viewer gives you a helpful information for those listings that have variations. Scrolling on down, let's go through all of these other goodies here. We got Google Sheets, I have mine off. Notes and tags, I don't really do that, mine is off. Discounts, I have mine again turned off. You have arbitrage here or reverse search. Now this is a separate cost uh, for this. I have not looked into it. I have not checked on it yet. Uh, maybe I will do another video on it soon, but for now it's off. VAT settings off, European marketplace is off. Offers, I do have on and offers, I do wanna move up. I did not, uh, I forgot about this one. Let me move it up. Offers I put right under the alert section. A lot of times uh, when I'm looking at the quick info and it's calculating profit on a, off a certain uh, sale price, like $21.99, here's the example right here. If it's calculating that profit off that $21.99 and maybe I think I can go higher, I wanna look at the offers and look at who is selling this product and what is their pricing and what kind of stock do they have in their inventory. And again, we're gonna look at all this in an example here, just a second, but alerts, offers, quick info, ranks and prices, charts, profit calculator, variations is what I've got going on so far. And I believe that is all that I have on. I've got everything else deselected. I do have Sell Essential on, but I don't use it. It's just the last thing. Uh, on the list here. I can even move it up just to make it a little bit more clear for you guys. So again, I've got alerts, offers, quick info, ranks and prices, charts, profit calculator, variations, and seller essential. That is how I have mine ordered for the best and optimal online arbitrage experience. Go ahead and click save and let's go. Here we go guys, everything's looking good. Everything's all set up. Now everything is closed right now. You can go and click on and open it, but the only thing I like to have open at first is the quick info. And again, this is gonna give me that quick info right off the bat. Now again, I'm doing this in the middle for this video, but ultimately it's gonna be on my right side. So let me go ahead and show you what that looks like just so you can get a video of that. And again, it's just a lot nicer on the right side. I was just doing it in the middle for this video. But look, I like to have the quick info section open. That's the only section I like to have open all the time. So if I know I can buy this for, let's say $8, right? Let me go ahead and say $8. It gives me $5.56 back in profit, 69% return on investment at that $21.99 price. So look, it's green because everything is looking good. Now, if it were to cost, say $15, we're gonna go into the red. This is saying, hey, you're gonna lose money if you sell this product. But right here, I can get a good idea of whether or not I want to dig deeper into this product. If there are some alerts that might be bad, if this is red or yellow, I'm gonna look deeper into the alerts and find out what's going on. Can I not sell the product? Is it a hazmat? Does Amazon share? Is it an IP issue? It lets me know what's going on here in the alert section. So if I wanna look into the offers, I can dig deeper here. Maybe I can sell it at a higher price, maybe $21.99 
is not the best price. Maybe it has the current buy box, but maybe it has 10 other FBA offers at you know $15.99, right? You gotta look at this kind of data to make the best decision possible. You can go down here and click on ranks. And again, it's set to that 30 day average the way we set it, but we can easily click over to the 90, to the 180, to all, and look at that data, dig deeper. Next, if we are still want to dig deeper into the information that is happening here, we can look at a Keepa chart. Here's the past three months. We can go monthly, we can go weekly, we can even go daily. Underneath that is the profit calculator. So if you want more information on how this profit and ROI is calculated, you can dig into the numbers right in this section. Underneath that is the variations, but this listing doesn't have any. And then the seller central button, you can add the product to your inventory and look into deeper. But I don't, again, I don't have mine connected, so I don't even use this. It's just there just in case I decide to use it. But that is it, guys. That is how I have mine all set up and again i just like to see this quick info right off the bat there you have it my people that is how i have seller amp set up for online arbitrage for my own personal business now if you want to get started with seller amp i suggest you do it today because word on the street is there is a price increase coming so use the link in the description or in that comment section you can go and get your free trial to seller amp today do not wait so that you can lock in that best rate my name is josh everydayfba.com is the website and i'll catch you guys on that next video peace